Rachel here and I am finally getting to doing another tutorial video. This one um, was requested by someone in the Facebook group and it is how to do a gradient without the FX because there is a way to do a two color gradient without using the FX. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and make a level first, new level. And we'll go ahead and call this color for lack of a better name. And what I currently have is a raster level, which I can't use. So we're actually going to delete that. This method, I believe it works in Toons Raster and Toons Vector. But just to be safe, we're going to go with Toons Vector since I know for sure it works there. Uh, just for the sake of simplicity, we're just going to do a straight gradient. Um, I've made a rectangle here, and I'm going to take my, my bucket and just plop it in there. Now, we're going to be using the level palette and the level palette editor for this. You go to Vector Special, and you'll notice we have a lot of options here. If you don't have these options, um, I would suggest you go to the description where I will link to someone... Uh, someone else's description of how to fix that because it is in uh, a few people have already made descriptions on how to fix a lack of FX or sorry a lack of uh, vector brush options so we've got this one which says linear gradient and we've got this one which says plain shadow this one I think works but I tend to use the linear gradient um, we have some other options over here that I haven't actually messed with too much. This one I know works. You're going to notice down here, when you when you click on this one and apply, you get two colors down here. This is why it's a two color gradient. If you go to settings, you can adjust smoothness, how, how much the... Uh, the angle of it because it's a linear gradient but you can do angles you can adjust where it is on your shading both X and Y although Y only really matters if you've got an angle on it so we're gonna just put this back to zero and we're gonna zero all of this out we don't want zeroed out so to go to change this if you want other colors than red and or blue green and black it's easy you just go ahead and click on these ones down here and change the color um unfortunately at the moment you can only really make a two color gradient using this method you can if you want to get a little ridiculous with it make another square that's the, oh, I'm going to want a new style here. So we're going to make a new style, make another square, and kind of make it so that your squares are overlapping just a bit. First, you're going to want to group this. Okay. And then taking this sty style, go ahead and make it a, make it a linear gradient. Um, and fill and what you can do what you can do I'm gonna make this a little taller here is if you go over to plane take this one make it completely transparent and white I guess make it transparent and white you can make in that case it would work better if you do transparent and the color the color of your last color for this one I'm going to go ahead and do black to illustrate it here and just overlap and you've got Oops, wrong one. And doing that, kind of make it semi-transparent until you get to the point 
so you like the way it overlaps. You can just leave it straight if you want to take it sideways until you know it's going to be hard to tell there. This is a little bit of a, a harder to accomplish effect, so I don't tend to try it. I don't have a lot of practice with it. And I, I assume if you were to take this and jack pull the smoothness, sorry, take this, this one and pull the smoothness down, it would fade better. So if you just, if you mess with your settings and tell that you can get mostly a three or more color gradient using multiple boxes. This method is a little bit, a little bit of a finicky messing with things until they look good process, but it is possible to then do gradients in multiple forms, like if you have a weird, let's go ahead and make another one here, if you have a weird blobby form, oh, helps to use my pen as opposed to my mouse. And it helps to have a good style on here. So if you have this weird blobby form here, fill it with one of your gradients. It's going to keep a gradient in there. Um, I hope this was helpful. I hope that you got a lot out of it. If you have any questions, comments, put them in the comment section below. If you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions on how to do this gradient thing better, please let me know. I am still mostly a beginner at it myself and will explore it more in the near future. Um, hope you all have a good day and don't forget to comment.